Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Esther Chandran. A former Kuala Daimansi Sindran Berhad project director is the fourth person to be charged by the Malaysian Anti-Crime Commission, MACC, over the Port Klang Free Zone financial fiasco. Law Jendong is charged with 24 counts of graft involving 116.85 million ringgit at the Klang Sessions Court. He claims trial for all charges and bail was set at 250,000 ringgit with one surety. Malaysian Firoz Fauzi is the third driver for the new Formula One team, which will start its first race in Bahrain next March. Sports Minister Dato Ahmad Sabri Chik made the announcement Monday on behalf of Prime Minister Dato Sri Najib Tun Razak. The one Malaysia Formula One team principal Dato Sri Tony Fernandes and the three drivers also attended the event. A worker was killed and seven others injured in a gas explosion at the food court of the Yon Jasko Mall at Jalan Legenda in Bachang, Melaka at 1 p.m. on Monday. The incident happened as workers and tenants were rushing to make final preparations for the shopping mall's opening on December 17. The blast was said to have taken place at the food court section of the mall and tore a two-meter hole in the wall, shattering glass and debris over a 25-meter radius. The dead man was identified as Tan Kwan Hai. Three other workers are in critical condition with the rest suffering blast wounds. All the wounded were rushed to the Melaka Hospital for treatment. The, ne the Dewa Negara was told Monday that the next of kin of life insurance policy holders who die of influenza A H one N one will receive compensation from their respective insurance companies. Deputy Finance Minister Senator Dato Dr. Awang Adik Hussein says the insurance companies would pay the compensation for the death of policyholders as stipulated in their policies. The insurance companies will not differentiate between death due to H1N1 and other causes of death. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Esther Chandran. Thanks for watching.